Look what I got. My aura ring finally arrived. I literally just got it in the mail five minutes ago. Um, so I'm gonna do my, I don't know how to open it. I'm gonna do my first reactions to the aura ring that I've been waiting for for about 10 months now, which is um, kind of crazy. So I'll give you that little overview as I open these up. Uh, yeah, I ordered mine first week of December. This is for the Gen 2 aura ring. Um, as I've been a long time user of the Gen 1 ring, which I don't have at the moment. Uh, I've actually lent it to a friend of mine to track some sleep. Um, so yeah, I ordered this 10 months ago and it's been a very long wait. I know a few people have got theirs. There were various delays with shipping and production. And to be honest, I don't know what the main reason was behind all the delays. Um, but yeah, customs issues, clearance issues, God knows, all these issues. But um, 10 months later, I finally, they finally arrived. At least that's what I think it is. It says it's from Aura Ring. Uh, yeah, and there's two of them, my wife's one and mine. So um, yeah, it's good that I finally got mine. And if you have been waiting, because I know a lot of people have, um, hopefully yours isn't far away, if you've, unless you've already got it, in which case, lucky you. So um, anyway, let's, let's get these open and we'll do our first impressions. So pretty cool box. Um, for those of you that read my review on the first ring, the Gen 1 ring, um, which you, you can see over at alexfergus.com, uh, it was quite a detailed, comprehensive review. You would have seen how, uh, I think I made a comment that like if Apple were to make a, a wearable, a ring wearable, uh, this is what it'd look like and was quite impressed with the packaging and um, yeah, the unboxing and all that sort of jazz. Um, so, they have set themselves a, a high standard to follow, uh, and so far so good. So two boxes, uh, yeah, just a cube. Um, okay, well, we've got the sizing and that on the bottom here. So this one's mine, the Heritage Stealth, size 13. Uh, and this is my wife's um, Balance Silver, size 8. So let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Alright, so let's open uh, my one first. There it is. It's pretty cool. It's very light. Uh, very, very light. So I got the matte black, the heritage one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's, it's very delicate. I mean, okay, it feels delicate and light, but um, I know it's very strong. And I have played with these. If you see my other YouTube videos, uh, you would have seen me have some hands-on experiences with the rings when I was in um, Helsinki like last year. So I had I am familiar with the the weight of the ring and um, have played around with a few uh, prototypes and whatnot. So um, yeah, it's not my first time. No, it's the first time seeing this this color, the the matte heritage. Sorry, the stealth color. Uh, because I'll see if I can get this on the camera here because they never had that when I was over there there we go, it's sort of coming to focus so yeah, I, unfortunately I don't have the Gen 1 ring to compare it but if you've seen the Gen 1 ring, it's very bulky uh, it's very heavy um, I had the glossy, the, the standard one this is like <laughs> it's, it's, it, you can't even compare the two, it's ridiculous this is like a normal ring um, very very light um nothing you know it's it's just a, a lot of people wouldn't even notice you wearing this ring whereas the other one people used to always stop me and say hey what's that um so yeah very cool so what else we got in here we got this must be the charging dock let's see if i can get a better focus going on here uh charging assuming that's the yep charging uh, dock, which again is, is very cool. Um, I've seen this before, um, a lot better than the Gen 1. It's, it's smaller, I can't really get focus going on here. Uh, what else do we have in here? Cables and it's very Apple esque in terms of the, the box and everything. Alright, so plug it in, charge it. 
wait until oh okay so there's a light on the front it'll blink when it's charging and I'm assuming that means it's static when it's fully charged download the Apple store uh, go to Apple store download the app boom 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 to set it up it's quite easy um, and I'm guessing this is just your warranty info so uh, yeah that's it uh, USB C I think that's what they call it uh, plug charging and it just sits on there there's no um, connection as such you know there's no um, connectors like um, I'm struggling with words what are they called uh, yeah connections no, no contacts on there it's contactless it's just wireless charging sits on there somehow oh, that way like so very cool all right so that's mine let's go open Rebecca's I'm sure she won't mind me opening this so this is it the silver one whoa it's very shiny and yeah this is the other design what was it called the uh, balance so you can see here it's got um, if I can get this focused I don't know if it's going to focus. Uh, anyway, oh yeah, there we go. So there's a very small, okay, this is knife, very small lip up here. Whereas my one has uh, the flatter top. Do you see the difference? Um, so yeah, it's it's what quite reflective, quite shiny. I've got my wedding band here, which is just stainless steel. So um, that's stainless steel, a couple months old. Um, that's a brand new aura ring. Um, I could almost fit it on there. It's size 8 for comparison. And whereas this is a size 13, so let's try the 13 on. Oh, it fits perfect. Maybe a little bit too loose, but my other Gen 1 ring was, was way too uh, way too tight. So um, here we go, side by side. Comparison, um, we have the size 13 Heritage Stealth. The matte black one and then the size 8 uh, what are they called balance silver so yeah very, very light very very light um, I don't really know what else to say if you've got any questions leave them below I'll happily answer them yeah unfortunately I don't have the gen 1 ring I'll, I'll see if I can get it back and I can do a side-by-side -side comparison but either way I will uh, put this I will put this um, I will do a comprehensive review over at alexfergus.com just like I did with Gen 1 um, but I need a few weeks at least to field test these so I can um, you know so I can take it take it through the uh, through the trenches and train with it and swim with it and do all that fun stuff and just to see how it's going to pull up because I'm curious to see if this scratches I mean right now it's shiny it's new it looks awesome and the mat um, you know, you might not notice scratches on here. You know, what? let's just uh, let's just do this. Sorry, I was just thinking something. We'll just get a knife here. You're gonna be the first to watch this. I figured if it's gonna scratch with a knife, it's like if it's gonna scratch in day to day use, it'll scratch with a knife. So um. There's, there's some faint lines on there. Do you see that? Let's see if I can sort of rub that off. It's still very, very faint. But there is a, a minor scratch there. I'm not going to do it with Rebecca. She'll, she'll hate me for it. But um, what happens if I go deeper? Well, there we go. I just scratched this brand new aura <laughs> that I've been waiting two months for. Uh, there is a scratch there. Do you see that? And um, yeah, that that's permanent. Maybe I could write my initials in here. Yeah, there's a letter A. So that is going to scratch off. Which then, I mean, obviously that's a knife. That's an extreme example. Do you see that A on there? That's an extreme sort of user case and I don't mind doing this because I'm sure you guys will want to know what happens so I can be the guinea pig um but yeah I mean if that happens with that like 
Because my Gen 1 ring never never scratched or anything, and I thrashed it. Like, I, you know, powerlift, deadlifted, with it, deadlifted heavy chin-ups, fishing, all sorts of stuff. Uh, whereas this, I mean, if that happens with a knife, you'd have to assume that, you know, just every day we're using metal tools and dishes and stuff, probably is going to scratch up. Which is slightly concerning. I mean, it depends how bad it is. I mean, again... If you look at my wedding ring, which is just stainless steel, um, that was very shiny when I first got it, like Rebecca's aura ring here. But already it's scratched up and it's sort of lost that gloss and I'm sure I can buff it back up, but it doesn't really bother me, but it may bother other people. So it will be interesting to see what this comes out like. I'm not, again, I'm not going to scratch that because um, Rebecca will hate me, but yeah, anyway, that's that's uh, the new aura ring and um, if you have got yours already have had yours for a while like you um, sorry the camera's a bit loose please let me know in the comments below yeah I'm, I'm not very good at the cameras here that's my phone going let me know in the comments below if, if yours is scratching how you're finding it and be sure to head over to alexfergus.com subscribe to my newsletter because when I do have my review ready I'll be sharing this with you all. Um, if you want to buy one, discount code FERGUS, F-E-R-G-U-S, should save you a few dollars. I gotta go.